Hello everyone, my name is Dakoba and welcome back to Satisfactory. Today we're going to be building a basic turbo fuel power plant. This is a 4.425 megawatt power plant and requires 240 crude and about 106.667 sulfur and coal per minute. Now we aren't going to be using any alternate recipes so this is available as soon as you get compacted coal and turbo fuel unlocked in the man and it results in a simple and straightforward build as well. Our foundation platform is going to be 13 tiles wide and is divided into four sections. The first three are five foundations across and the final is 25 foundations, creating a 13 by 40 footprint in total. Each section is also staggered vertically to allow fluid components to flow downward into the next section, which will greatly help with the reliability of our fluid system. Now we're going to be building this plant on the site for our crude oil, but mining the coal and sulfur remotely and bringing them in via train line. You can adapt this design to use any kind of logistics you like. Our first section is going to combine our coal and sulfur into compacted coal. This is done in an assembler and we're going to be using five assemblers for this task in total. We'll start by setting up a raised platform and then use lifts to allow us to run the coal and sulfur lines below on either side of our inputs to supply the assemblers. We're then going to merge the outputs from our assemblers onto a single belt line. Our next section is going to take our 240 crude oil and turn it into 160 fuel in four refineries using the default recipe. Now this recipe also has a byproduct of creating some polymer resin. Ideally, we can process this into plastic and rubber, but since we're focusing on the power plant aspect for this guide, we're going to just sync this for now. We'll use two conveyor lifts on the solid output of each refinery to create a bridge structure, which will allow us to thread a pipe underneath. We'll then merge the resin output from those bridges onto a single line and feed it into an awesome sink, and then use the pipeline to collect the fuel output from each of the refineries and send it onto our next section. Our final processing step takes the 160 fuel and 106.667 compacted coal and feeds these into a bank of our eight refineries producing turbo fuel, again using the default recipe. These eight refineries should be run at 88.888% clock speed for maximum efficiency, and this is going to result in the production of 133.25 turbo fuel. This amount of fuel will provide for precisely 29.61 fuel generators. So our final section is going to be a burn ward that'll contain 30 generators and three banks of 10. Now, because of the relatively low volumes of fluid we're working with, Mark 1 pipes will have no trouble transporting the fluids at any point in this build, as so long as we maintain a sufficient supply. In this case, we're gonna be setting one of our generators to 50% clock speed, which will allow us to very slightly overproduce turbo fuel by 0.1 units per minute. Additionally, we're going to let the refineries run for a little bit to fully fill the generators and lines before we turn them on. This will ensure that the supply of turbo fuel never falters. That's going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you guys for sharing part of your day with me. I hope you found this guide helpful. Leave a like if you have and subscribe if you'd like to see more. My name is Dakoba and I hope you have an efficient day. I'll see you soon.